David, Saul's coming up the mountain. Please go. David, this is the day of which the Lord said to you, Behold, I will deliver your enemy into your hand, to do with as you wish. Yes, as I wish. Take the men further into the caves, as deep as you can go. No matter what happens, do not come out until I call for you. You heard, David. Oh, this is gonna be good. What's David going to do? What he should have done a long time ago. Get even with Saul. Yeah, make him pay. I bet it'll be a huge ambush. Saul will never see it coming. Is anyone in here? Hey, what's he... Looks like he's going potty? Cut off a corner of Saul's robe. That's it? That's how he's getting back at Saul by ruining his outfits? Come on! Captain, I do not understand. Saul was helpless. You could have... No, I could not. The Lord forbid that I should do this to my lord the king and attack the Lord's anointed one. For the Lord himself has chosen him. But he must pay for what he's done to you. Saul is the anointed of the Lord. None of you may rise up against him. My lord, the king! David? Why do you listen to the people who say I am trying to harm you? This very day you can see with your own eyes it isn't true. For the lord placed you at my mercy back there in the cave. Some of my men told me to kill you, but I spared you. For I said, I will never harm the king. He is the Lord's anointed one. Look at what I have in my hand. It is a piece of the hem of your robe. I cut it off, but I didn't kill you. This proves that I am not trying to harm you, and that I have not sinned against you, even though you have been trying to kill me. May the Lord judge between us. Perhaps the Lord will punish you for what you are trying to do to me, but I will never harm you. You are a better man than I am, for you have repaid me good for evil. Yes, you have been amazingly kind to me today. For when the Lord put me in a place where you could have killed me, you didn't do it. And now I know indeed that you shall surely be king, and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in your hand. Now promise to me by the Lord that when that happens, you will not kill my family and destroy my line of descendants. I promise. <laughs> 